Are you annoyed because your editing is super slow? Well, I have the perfect solution for you, and you will edit just like this. They're trying to be crazy. They're trying to be crazy. It will look like you have macros, but you aren't actually using macros. It's insane. Yes, sir. So, yes, you guys will be able to edit that fast on PC, Xbox, PS4, and, of course, Nintendo Switch. Also, if you're watching this, there's a pretty good chance you aren't subscribed. So, make sure to leave a like. Also, hit the subscribe button. It'd really be appreciated. Also, use code Fluxy, hashtag ad. So, let's go ahead and show you guys how to edit like an absolute beast. All right. So, as you guys can see, we've made our way into creative. And we also have the keyboard cam set up. So, for the first secret setting, I'm going to show you guys how to do it first on keyboard. And then we'll move on to all of the other ones. So first things first, I'm going to show you guys what my builds are like without the secret setting. Just so you guys can compare how different they are. Because honestly, the secret setting is overpowered. So as you can see, my builds are actually decent. I mean, like, they're not the best because I don't sweat out this game all the time. But I mean, still with the secret setting, they will be so much faster. Even my edits. Like, right now, my edits aren't the fastest. Right now, I just keep messing up. Um, But yes, this setting will make me so much faster. Just let me show you guys. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and try and make this floor invisible just with normal edits. Just to show you guys that with this setting, it is so overpowered. So let's go ahead and do it. So as you can see, my edits are decently fast, but I mean, I don't think it's fast enough to actually make it invisible. I mean, I can try, but with this setting, you go so much faster and you barely mess up. So let's see if we can get it invisible. And yep, it's literally not fast enough to make it invisible. So with this setting, you'll literally turn into a beast and make anything go invisible. So with my regular edits, I won't actually be able to float myself with it because I'm just way too slow at it. But with the secret setting, you can. So let's go ahead and try to float myself anyway and see if it works. And yep, as you can see, I literally fell right through and I can't float myself. So now I'm going to go ahead and turn on this secret setting to make my edits 10 times faster. Let's go ahead and turn them on. All right, so I just turned on the secret setting and I'm going to show you guys how fast my edits are now with this. So let's go ahead and edit this floor and we will be able to make it go invisible. So let's go ahead and do it. I'll show you guys. So yep, as you can see already, my edits are already so, so much faster and we are editing this so fast by just this simple change of the most easiest setting to change. So we should be able to make this floor go invisible any second. So let's go ahead and do it in three two, one, and boom. As you can see, we literally made the floor go invisible and we're literally walking on it. Yep, that's how easy it is to make things go invisible by just changing a super simple setting. So I just went ahead and joined into this world right here and as you can see, it is literally like an edit course and it is kind of glitched out. So with this setting, you'll be able to go through this impossible course right here super fast. So as you can see, there's literally like so many edits and this would take you very long if you were to do it regularly. So with this setting, you can go through it so fast. So let's go ahead and do it with the setting. So as you can see, we are literally going through this so fast with the setting and it's just so fast. Like I'm literally just running through it. Like this setting is so overpowered. This setting is so overpowered and we just made it up that fast. Like that was the fastest I've ever done that. Just by changing a simple setting, we can go up that really fast. All right, let's go ahead into the easy edit downs because if we head into this, you will see how fast we can just edit down. As you can see, it's literally so fast and we just keep on falling as we're editing it so fast and yep already done that was so fast so with this secret setting you will also be able to make walls go invisible so let's go ahead and make this one invisible so as you can see let's be able to make this wall go invisible any second now so let's go ahead and do it in three two one and boom as you can see it is now invisible like it is literally so overpowered like we made this wall completely invisible you can see right through it and yes it's just that over the setting is that overpowered that you can do this with any builds with this setting you can also make a cone go invisible just like this as you can see the cone is invisible and we are literally walking on it like there's a cone right here even with enough practice you guys will be able to make yourself float just like this it's insane so without further ado let's go ahead and get onto the keyboard settings so all you want to do is make your way over to settings and press the cogwheel scroll down and the building is right here so you want to make sure confirm edit on release is on so make sure you turn that on and also make sure disable pre-edit option is on and that's one of the settings complete. Because if you have edit on release on, you literally just have to press it and let go and that's it done. So that makes it so much faster. And then if you have pre-edits off, you literally can't pre-edit it. So you won't be able to mess up. 
So that's another big setting to change. So let's go ahead and get into the keybind setting. So all you want to do is just make your way down to the building section. And as you can see, we are literally right here. So all you want to do is make your building edit something, which is mine is F. And then also you have to make another select building edit. So as you can see, your regular one is just your mouse button. But I also have G because you can have two different options. So to make this secret setting just a little bit easier, I really recommend putting two different binds right beside each other. So as you can see, I have F and G and they're just right beside each other. So they're super easy to press. So there's so many different options you can do. You can literally have like six and seven. You can have seven and eight. You can have N and M. You can literally have any key binds right beside each other on your keyboard. That is just my recommendations, but I have F and G. So now that you change your setting, all you guys really have to do is just practice pressing them buttons together. So there's many different ways you can do it. You can use two hands just like this, which is a little bit harder for me. And I just used to do one hand, but as you can see, it's a little bit easier. Then you can use your left hand like this, and then you can use your mouse as well. But I just prefer to use my right hand as I am right-handed, and I can just do it so much faster. And yeah, all you gotta do is just practice pressing them buttons at the same time, and then that's you with super fast edits. So obviously, whenever you change your binds, you're obviously gonna have to try to get used to it, just like any other binds. But trust me, guys, it is totally worth it, and it's super fun to do. Now it is time to show you guys how to do it on all different types of controllers. Let's do it. All right, so as you can see, I am on an Xbox controller right now, and this is a scuff controller. You guys can literally use any type of controller, like a regular controller. This is for PS4, Nintendo Switch, and Xbox, or whatever controller you have. It can be on anything. So as you can see, my edits on controller are decently fast, but they're not that fast. But with the secret setting, you will literally be able to see how fast it changes. And I will end up being able to make this cone go completely invisible, because right now, I am not capable of doing that, because my edits are just too slow on controller. So now I will also go ahead and show you my edits on this. So as you can see, they're not the fastest, but with the secret setting, we will be able to speed through this really fast. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and turn on this secret setting, and then I'll show you guys how fast my edits are. Let's go. All right, so we just went ahead and turned on the secret setting for controller, and you're going to see how overpowered this is. So let's just edit this cone, and you will see how fast my edits have got. Let's go ahead and do it. So yes, as you can see, the edits are actually so fast, and we are literally on controller right now, and we'll be able to make this cone go completely invisible on controller. So let's go ahead and do that in three, two, one, and boom, as you can see, we just made this cone go invisible while we're on controller. That's how overpowered this setting is, and it's literally so easy to do. All right, so now that I've shown you guys what it's like on controller, let's go ahead and show you the setting. All right, so all you want to do is just make your way over to the cogwheel setting right here. So if you haven't already changed it, make sure you have confirm, edit on release, turn to on. This setting means that you won't mess up your edits and that it's just so much easier to edit. So make sure you have that turned on. As well as that, make sure you also put disable pre-edit option. Now all you want to do is make your way over to the combat controls over here, which is the controller binds. So as you can see, you can literally make this on any controller platform, PlayStation 4 is here, Xbox One, and generic. But I just have mine on generic just because it's a little bit easier to show you guys. So for the first thing you guys want to change is make your way over here to the right hand side and make sure you put your A as edit. If you're on PlayStation, it will be X. Make sure this one right here is set as edit. Then all you want to do is go over to over to the side and this is edit controls. Then you want to make your way over to over to here and as you can see, my B is set as select and A is set as confirm. So if you're on PlayStation, you just want to make your X as confirm and your circle as select. Now, if you don't want to make them to your edit binds, you can literally make any of them. You can do X and Y, you can do X and B, X or A, you can do A and why literally it does not matter what buttons you can do i just do a and b because they're right beside each other and i prefer it like that so yes that is literally all of the binds which you need to do to edit this fast on any controller obviously on your nintendo switch you can do exactly the same it's just so easy to and you'll be able to edit this fast float your friends and do so much more but trust me you guys have to try this setting it's literally so op and make sure you guys show this off to all of your friends because honestly it's just so overpowered and and you will literally be able to make any build go invisible like this. It is insane. So yes, those were the secret settings on how you guys can add it like an absolute beast. Obviously, you guys can change the binds to your likings because these were just my binds and they worked the best for me. But if you guys haven't already tried this, make sure you hop on the Fortnite and give this a try right away. It is insane. And let me know if you were able to edit super fast just like me.